This is your KCTV 5 News Update. The Kansas City Fire Department is mourning the loss of another firefighter to COVID-19. Bobby Rocha died early this morning at the age of 60. He had been with the department for 29 years at Fire Station 18. The International Association of Firefighters recently sent out a letter to all governors across the country asking that firefighters and emergency medical services personnel be placed in the top tier grouping for receiving the COVID-19 vaccine once it's available. An initially scary tweet about a shooter near Missouri State University's campus turned out to be relatively minor. According to the police department, there was not an active shooter situation at or near the campus. Someone heard gunfire and two bullets hit an apartment complex. Fortunately, no one was hurt. A U.S. District Court judge has dismissed a lawsuit by the Trump campaign that aimed to invalidate millions of Pennsylvania mail-in votes. Though the case was always extremely unlikely to succeed, President Trump's backers and legal team had pinned their hopes on the federal judge giving some credibility to their suspicions of fraud. But Judge Matthew Brand, a longtime and well-known Republican in Pennsylvania, refused. A cold, steady rain lasts until about 10 o'clock, then it tapers off after midnight. But the temperatures remain around 42 degrees, even in the middle part of the night under gray sky. So we wake up tomorrow morning about 40. Sunshine in the afternoon, 53 or 54 for the high. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, weather alerts with a 50% chance of rain on Monday. 60% chance of rain on Tuesday and a 50% chance of rain Wednesday morning. Thanksgiving right now looks good. 56 partly cloudy seasonable day with sunshine and light winds. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.